Hi guys, Michael Jensen here. Today we're gonna tie a deer hair haggle dry fly. I'm using kind of a special technique, a bit like muddler tying actually, uh, to make the haggle on this little uh, dry fly flare out and uh, make a super floating fly. Um, it's a two minute tie and this fly will float for hours. Hang on. Okay, first I attach the tying thread. Start a little bit behind the hook eye. Then I'll take a bunch of hair. No need to stack these hair. Notice I tie with loose turns at the start of the tying and then tighten up as I go back along the hook shank. I want to trap as much air in there, in these hollow hair, under the tying thread. It all adds to the floatability of the fly and it helps to build up a nice shape on the body. Another bunch for the tail, smaller than the one I used for the front part. Then I'll take some woolly sparkle up. If you wonder why I use wool dubbing on a floating fly then it's because wool is very good at sucking up water but it's equally good at sucking up gink or whatever you use to float your dry flies then I build up a really fat body on this one I think it's gonna imitate some kind of terrestrial And then I take a couple of loose turns around the hair at the front and tighten up. And that's when the magic happens. When I tighten up here, all the hair ends flare out and make a super effective haggle on this fly. This is a great way to make top quality and high floating dry flies without spending a lot of dollars on top quality haggle. Super cheap materials, super easy to tie and a super floater. Okay guys, the deer hair haggle dry fly. Thanks for watching.